This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to upgrade your Precision T7910 uh, with a few key hardware upgrades as well as optimize it for gaming because that's what we do here. We like to play games and we like to use um, engineering workstations. So let me show you the, the configuration that we built. We built a system with two six-core Xeon E5 2637V3 procs. These are high-clock uh, high speed CPU. Um, they, they clock out right around 4 gigahertz when it comes to the max turbo frequency. Uh, we have 32 gig of RAM. Uh, this is DDR4 memory. We have a Western Digital 500 gig NVMe drive with the adapter because this system does not have an NVMe slot on the system board. Now, we are, we're going to use that 500 gig NVMe for everything, all of our storage. Uh, because we want those those fast uh, IO speeds. Uh, we're not going to use any of the other slots, although this system does support up to four additional three and a half inch drives. It's got an embedded SAS controller, lots of options for drives. Uh, another key upgrade that we're going to do is we're going to upgrade from a Quadro card to a EVGA SuperClock 2 GTX 1080 Ti with 11 gig. Um, this system also comes standard with a 1300 watt power supply, which is awesome for uh, for graphics. Um, we can we can install. I mean, we could add another t uh, 1080 Ti if we wanted to and run SLI. Um, endless options. So here's what we're working with here. Uh, we've got our Precision T7910. The system already has the processors and the memory installed. Um, and we are just going to show you how to install the, the kind of the other key components, uh, the, the graphics card and the NVMe. Um, so take a look. This, this system is like 15% larger than a standard workstation. As you can see, one of the upgrade features that it gives you is you can install up to four or three and a half inch drive standard. Uh, if you want to run RAID for other additional storage, there's an optional uh, cage uh, that we don't have installed for additional four times two and a half inch drives. Um, here's our NVMe drive that we're going to install. It's a Western Digital uh, Black 512 gig um, NVMe SSD. And we have to use an adapter, uh, as we already stated, because the system does not have an NVMe slot on the system board. Um, here's our GTA, GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, awesome card. You get what you pay for. I mean, you, these are about $800. And these are going to get us those high frame rates and handle um, you know, most of the of what we need for gaming so if if anything and you need if anything and you have a precision t7910 you want to upgrade one component and you want to put a lot of money into it you know do the 1080 ti it's going to get you awesome frame rates pretty much regardless whatever cpus you have installed so here's the back chassis lots of io slots in the system there's our 1300 watt power supply got usb 3.0 ports if you plan to do vr uh, two uh, gigabit network ports, PS2 port, serial port, embedded audio. So lots of lots of features on this system. Um, completely toolless to pull off the side panel. And here's a look at the inside of the chassis. So you can see, this is a dual socket Xeon system board. We have two procs installed. Here's our aisle slots. There's our DDR4 RAM. We have 32 gig of RAM installed, four eight gig modules. This system supports up to 16 memory modules if you have two procs installed. There's our two Xeon procs. Here's where our memory slots are. Four, uh, eight of them are covered. Here's two additional IO slots. You cannot use these slots unless you have two processors installed. There's our optical drive. And here's one of the really cool features about this system. It has uh, so much power and and that makes it really easy when installing a 1080 ti uh, we do have an adapter um, that we added to the system uh, which is that dual six pin to single a pin and then the system came standard with a eight pin to two six pin so we're going to put this uh this graphics card inside the system the 1080 ti so there's another look at the box here's the card it's it's an awesome card. If you've never used one and you get one, you will uh, you will love this card. Definitely worth the $800. So we've got a 6-pin and 8-pin port that we need to add power to after we install the card. So like we already showed you, we have plenty of adapters to do that. 
Um, so basically pull off your two retention clips here. Now this card's gonna eat up two slots because it's just that big and bad of a card. So line up your card in the PCI slot and in the and by the PCI blank area. Line it up. Once it's lined up, go ahead and push it in and just it'll clip right in. Okay? Lock your blue retention clips back in and you are set other than your adapters. So here's our adapters. We are already set up to install these. So all we have to do is plug them in. So this this adapter we did have to order dual six pin to eight pin. Basically plug plug it in. And now if you forget to install these adapters or if you forget to plug power into this graphics card, the system will hold on in post and it'll tell you. So it's not gonna let you boot unless you have these plugged in. So here's our eight pin to dual six pin. We only need to use one of these because that's all we need. So if you had an additional graphics card, you would still be able to put another card in here if you wanted to. Let's say you wanted to run like, uh, you know, six to eight displays, you know, go ahead. You got plenty of power to do that with this system. So you do kind of have to scrunch those um, power cords down when you put the side panel back on. So we've done our key upgrades. Well, no, we haven't yet. We still need to put the NVMe drive in there. So this is, this is how you install the NVMe drive into the adapter. Because again, this system does not have an NVMe slot on the system board. Now, a lot of your newer systems are gonna have that. Um, this system, for whatever reason, they did not incorporate this into it. So we are gonna go ahead and plop that right inside that slot. And then we have to use this little screw to lock the NVMe drive right into the slot. It's very similar to installing a memory module. There's very little pressure, it slides right in. Now this little screw that we're going to install, this doesn't come with all NVMe drives. So if you, it should come with your adapter, but if it doesn't, uh, there's a little trick. If you have an extra two and a half inch um, uh, conventional SATA drive laying around, you can steal one right off those. So let's install this. Now we have so many IO slots in this system and we have two procs installed. So we're going to go ahead and install this into the top IO slot. So we just have to remove that PCI bracket. And get that blank out of there. Retention clip is removed. And now we just have to go ahead and line this card up, click it in. Now once this card's installed, it's really cool. Windows 10 doesn't require um, like a third party driver for it. It'll recognize it right away as a, as a bootable device to load Windows 2. So that's, that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, we are only going to use this drive uh, because we want those really fast IO speeds. Uh, we want to you know, boot as fast as we can with this system. Um, we want to be able to open up games really fast. All right, so we've got Windows 10, 10 installed. Uh, because of the 1080 graphics card, you're going to want to put the GeForce Experience on there um, as well as the latest driver. Here's the device manager. We've got our 1080 Ti. We've got our NVMe drive, Western Digital drive, and we have two six core CPUs in there in the in the system, but they're showing up is 12 because of the hyperthread. So awesome uh, CPU power in the system. You know it'll work really well for gaming or any other programs that you you plan to use that are heavy on CPU. So here's the GeForce experience. Download it. Um, we're gonna run a quick benchmark. Uh, we have the game called Tom Clancy: The Division installed. Uh, we set, you know, the settings to what they consider ultra. Uh, we're running 144 hertz monitor, and we're gonna go ahead and run this test. So we'll fast forward to the end of the test. We're not gonna make you watch the whole thing. So this is what it kind of looks like at the end. We're averaging well over 100 frames per second. And we're just going to go through to the end of this test and see what results we get. We, I mean, basically, for this type of system, we, we, we're not going to accept anything less than 100 frames per second. And because we, you typically get what you pay for. And this system, 
you could easily spend you know it's 2018 in this video but right now to buy this system you'd be spending over three thousand dollars even if you uh, you know cherry picked around on different auction sites all right, so we got over 130 frames per second average, typical frames 134, average CPU 41%, um, average GPU 92%. The CPU usage is very low for this game. Typically, you're gonna be running into 90% if you're running like an i7, 8700. Um, so these CPUs did really, really well. Um, let's take a look at greenpcgamers.com. Go to the blog, search right here, your system. In our case, you're doing a T7910. If that's a system you have and you need other upgrade ideas or you don't have the budget to build a system we built, go to this page, take a look. We give other upgrade ideas. It's a really great resource. If you work on you know lots of different precision systems, go to this site. Uh, we give you great ideas on how to upgrade your systems. Completely free. If we haven't covered it, there's a uh, request a topic tab on the top of the page click on it submit it we'll we'll try to you know cover your topic as fast as we can if you like what you saw today um, please subscribe to this uh, youtube page it's an easy way to support us we don't sell anything um, we just do you know tutorial videos um, if you have live questions feel free to follow on twitch um, my gamer tag is right there jbigtick23 you can ask live hardware questions um, in between games Thank you very much for watching this video and please, please uh, consider subscribing.